so this next video that you're going to watch, uh, I'm going to try to make it short. Um, it's uh, it's really showing how to use the um, the wraps, the cell camera skins that I've got on my eBay store, Badger Bow Mounts. Check it out. Uh, buy something on there. Give me a good review. Um, but it's actually I wanted to, I'm not I wasn't going to share it because I ended up not putting the camera out. I couldn't find anywhere I really wanted to put it. So I didn't even put the camera out. So I wasn't going to put the video up. But I wanted to put it up because there's some really good information about how to uh, attach your camera to a tree using paracord or like camo camouflage paracord instead of just using the gray straps that generally come with cameras, which I think does a good job of actually hiding and blending the cameras in. Because a natural straight left to right line is not normal in nature, but a thin piece of paracord that's camouflage looks really good and you'll never notice it. But I wanted to actually, while I was gonna put this up, I wanted to show you about my, what I'm calling premium cell camera skins. This is Nat Gear. Costs a little extra because I gotta pay extra for Nat Gear because Nat Gear is a licensed product. So this is a thicker vinyl. Uh, it should last a very long time. And it is a high quality film and it's a beautiful camo. And as you'll see in some pictures and videos, it blends in really good with the tree. Now I'm not gonna sell them with the, um, with the solar panel camo skin like you see for the sk solar panel that's on some pictures and videos i was going to and then i not enough people actually use the sk um, solar panel so uh, i decided not to if you're interested in getting a solar panel an sk solar panel camo skin for any of these message me and let me know we'll work something out and i can get you one because i do have some but i didn't think enough uh would sell to be worth putting them out there but if you're interested in one let me know and we'll get you taken care of other than that like subscribe Check out bowcrew.com. Get you one of these sweet flags. Get you a sweet shirt. Bow season's coming. Triple R Woods 20 at checkout. Like and subscribe on this video. Hope you enjoy the video. All right, it is late May, early June, and it is my favorite time to get out in the woods and start getting some cameras put up, making some mock scrapes, figuring out where the bucks are. Uh, we have an early season velvet hunt for the first time ever, so I'm excited about that. Um, this is when I normally get them out and get cameras out and, and start running cameras. Um, Mainly because, you know, a month from now I'm going to want to check some cameras and I want to have them out now so that when I pull them here in a month or three weeks or five weeks or whatever, um, I've got some data to look at, start getting excited for deer season. So early tomorrow morning I'm going to get up and get out and um, get um, some cameras put out. I'm going to put one cell camera on this piece of property we're going to. Um, it is public land. Before we get out there, um, I'm going to install my uh, cell cam skin for this X 2.0. This is a little different way that I'm shipping them now. Uh, I'm gonna start shipping them like this with all the parts already pulled out. So what this does is it you don't have to go through the process of trying to figure out like where's the cut lines and things like that. It's already all cut out. So when you get it like this, take that paper clip off, you've got the door piece You've got three strips that will be for like the elbow of the antenna. You've got the antenna itself and you've got the main body panel and it's all already cut out, ready to go. You just got to strap it, you know, slap it on there, heat it up a little bit, uh, you know, smooth it out and you're ready to go. So we're going to be putting this on an X 2.0 uh, starter pack that comes with the LiPo pack and their SD card. So um, I'm not going to spend a whole bunch of time on this because I know that's not the whole point of this, but I do want to run through this real quick, get the LiPo pack charging, and then tomorrow we're going to get the quiet cat loaded up and hit the woods. All right, so we've got our camera activated. Everything's good to go. Uh, now we're going to put our skin on. Real quick, I'm going to throw this main body panel skin on. The main thing is just line up the lens. And everything else should line up based off that.
heated it up, pressed it all down. You can see it kind of shrinks to it and forms form fits to the, the camera a lot better once you heat it up and, and then press it down. Now we're gonna take our cutter and we're gonna cut this line here where the door actually shuts. Just about ready to get this one in the woods. Things different about this camera. This is an X 2.0 with a lipo pack. We're going to put an SK solar panel mount on top uh, with a matching uh, cell camera skin. That way it'll help maintain that lipo pack because again it's going to be out on public land. It's going to be hard to get to. It's not going to be something I want to go to very often and swap out batteries. So uh, this should help prolong the life of that lipo pack. The other thing is I don't want to use, since I've put all this time and effort into this, I don't want to use just the basic gray camera strap that goes around the camera and uh, could catch the eye of a person walking by. This solid strap going around the camera here, around the tree, um, is not natural, you might say. So what I'm going to use is one of my low profile mounts. Um, this is a camo paracord. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a decent amount off here, enough that I would have around a tree or more. So I've got five feet or so. I'm going to go ahead and burn this other end. The stock end is burned. We don't want this fraying. flatten that out a little bit. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to put it through one side of this strap here on the back of the camera and I'm going to just tie a knot with it. Just a simple knot. Now it will not come back through that strap, that little hole right there that where the strap would go through. It's, it's stuck there. This other end actually be what goes around the tree and back to the camera. Now we've got to get a little bit of rope here and we've got to make us a Prusik knot. So this is probably 8 inches, maybe 10, and this is probably overkill, truth be known, but we're going to, the worst thing is make one too short and you got to come back and, and do it again. Alright, so we've got, um, and that was shorter than I thought it would be. Let me make a knot out of this. All right, so we've got just a basic little bit of paracord here. We are going to make a Prusik knot around this. All right, so we've got our, our Prusik knot here. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, we've just looped it around twice. It's going to be cinched to itself. So when we cinch this down or pull it tight, it's not going to move on the rope, but when you loosen it just a little bit, it's adjustable on this rope. So the only other thing left we got to do after we put this Prusik knot in is we need one little piece of this about two or three inches long. So we've got just one little piece of paracord, two or three inches long. And this piece will be what the paracord comes around and goes through this hole. So I've actually got to adjust this. Alright, so we've got our Prusik knot put on there and you can see we've got our knots there, our loops, just like you would on your saddle. If you cinch that down real tight, then we can't move the actual paracord. Even if I'm pulling them apart, it cinches to itself. If I loosen that up a little bit, now I can adjust it on the paracord itself. So this will actually go around the tree 
Then we've got another little piece of paracord, just two or three inches long. And that Prusik knot will go through that loop once we've gone around the tree. And then we're going to take this little piece and just put it through the hole on the Prusik knot. Does that make sense? So now, when you cinch this out, it won't pull out because that little three inch piece here is keeping it from pulling through. And we can adjust our rope by adjusting the Prusik knot. And once we cinch it down on the Prusik knot, it's not going anywhere. So this will be all that's seen around the tree is this one little rope that's also camouflaged. So a really cool way of keeping your cameras low profile, keeping them from being seen by people passing by. Obviously the solar panel here is not uh, helping too much, but um, the risk we're gonna take to keep it out in the woods longer. So that's what we're gonna put out tomorrow.